Okay, here's all the kits. I'm going to start off uh, over here. I've been transferring some malt from here uh, into this bucket, all the way to transfer it into this bag for you. Uh, there's four kgs of Maris Otter there. Also over here, a couple of fermenting buckets. This one's had its tap modified, so it's got a better tap on it, a ball valve. The actual boilers themselves, these are 60 litres. I've now added the sight glasses onto them. So as you can see, both have now been fitted with sight glasses. Also both are now fitted with immersion elements, if you can quite see that one back there and then this one here okay they're both switched on at the moment I've filled them both with a bit, a bit of water just so you can see them working hopefully you can see that's boiling quite effectively and the other one Ooh, too hot So you can see both boiling away quite nicely. I'll just switch them off. Okay, as well as that, we've got the immersion cooler. This is one that I've made. And you can see it's actually two coils together. There's about 20 metres worth of copper pipe, 10 mil copper pipe to make that. It cools down very effectively. Obviously this will go into the boiler and it hangs over the edge just like that and then you can connect up your hose pipe or whatever so you can pump cold water through for rapid chilling. Inside you can see how it stopped boiling at the bottom there, when the lens clears, you can see the um, hop strainer. That's made out of um, copper pipe, 15 millimeter, with slots every few centimeters. And you can see the immersion element inside that. Same in the other one. You can see that's the hot liquor tun, and you can see inside that just the element by itself. And then over to the cool box, which is um, quite an effective mash tun. I've added extra insulation, as you can see, it's got a couple of extra layers all the way around. Inside, there is again 50mm, quite an extensive um, copper manifold there to filter out all the grain. And you can see that I've rotated here just a couple of the tubes so you can see how the slots are cut they should be pointing downwards it works off the siphon effect so that comes out to this tap which again it's a standard ball valve tap so along with all that um, I've thrown together that kit so there's the 4 kgs of malt um, some goldings so there's a whole pack of those there that should make up um, a nice recipe called 100% satisfaction for treating your water um, as Camden tablet which you'll need to throw one in your mash water and one in your sparge water um, here I've put some gypsum into this little tub just a couple of teaspoons that'll help the mash um, various bits of hosing various different diameters um, some CO2 piping which can be used for all sorts um, some various John Guest fittings they'll attach quite nicely to these